Hello everyone, Fred here with Card Dealer Pro, and in this video, we're gonna give you a high level overview of the services that Card Dealer Pro offers and how this can help you rapidly list your cards for sale on the internet. So we're not gonna go into detail in every aspect of this, we're just gonna hit on the major features at a very high level. We have tons of other how-to guides that will help you dive into all of the features in more detail if you wanna see those, so I encourage you to check those out, and as always, Feel free to use the support link down in the right corner of the website to set up a demo with us or get in touch with us through our contact page. We're happy to do a customized one-on-one -on -one demo and show you how this can help your business. So to begin, Card Dealer Pro allows you to create what are called batches of cards to list for sale. So a batch is simply a group of cards that you want to rapidly list for sale across Shopify, eBay, Amazon, uh, Collects, Marketplace, you name it. So to begin with, we are going to create a new batch and we are gonna call this batch example batch. We can fill in details and information that will apply to all of the cards that we're gonna put for sale. So we could put in inventory location of where we're going to store those so we know where they're at. In this particular example, I'm gonna list these for sale on eBay. So I'm gonna list out some of the eBay information that I want to list these cards at. So I'm going to put them all up in auction format starting at 99 cents. I'm going to allow my users to offer a best offer if they want in an auction. Uh, my shipping cost is $3.99. I want my auction to last seven days. I'll accept returns. Um, actually, I won't accept returns. And here's my zip code. Once I get in all of the information, I hit create batch and we now have an example batch that we've created. The next step of the process, and really where the magic happens, is adding the cards to the batch. So if we open our batch, we don't have any cards in here right now, but if we click on add cards, we can add cards in by searching the database and using stock photos, or we can add cards to our batch by uploading the images. Now in this example, I've scanned all of the images of my cards that I want to add, so I'm going to click on upload card images. And I want to upload both the front and the back, not just the front. So I click on front and back images. And from here, I can upload my card images to be documented. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the folder that I have all of these saved in. And I'm going to select the cards that I want to add to my batch. I click open. This has grabbed all of the card images. I hit upload. And this is really where we're gonna save you a ton of time. So we've uploaded the images of your cards. We're now matching those using our state-of-the-art AI and machine learning visual search technology to identify the card, match it to our database, and bring in all of the details and all of the information for your card. As you can see, it took a few seconds and we've now got five cards matched, zero need manual review. So if I now open my batch up, I can see all of the cards that I uploaded and I can see all of the information on those cards. Now, I could drill into each of those cards individually if I wanted to change any of the information that we found on the card, but we found the team, the year, sport, if it was graded or not graded. Had this card been graded, we would have brought in the grading company, the grade, the cert, etc. Um, we know it's an Upper Deck Rookie Premier, Aaron Rodgers, card number 16, from this subset. So all of this information was found automatically without us having to type anything in. So it saves you a ton of time. If you think about this, we brought in five cards and had them done in a few seconds. You could add hundreds of cards or even thousands of cards to a batch and you wouldn't have to type in any of that information. Now, in addition to being able to drill into these individually, I can also look at these cards in a spreadsheet view where I can sort them by the player, the year, etc or I can edit information in bulk. So as an example, if I scroll over, I notice that I forgot to put in what I want my shipping price to be for these cards. I'm gonna hit fill column, choose shipping price, and type in 399 and hit fill. I now have 399 for the shipping price on all of these cards. So ways that you can quickly edit all of the information. Now another really great feature of Card Dealer Pro is I like to brand my cards so that they stand out in my auctions. My users and my uh, collectors that buy from me love that you know they, they can trust me as a seller and I like my images to look professional. So to do that, I brand all of my card images. 
what I can do is I can actually click add banner to cards and as long as I've set up a banner in my settings, this will now apply my personal branding to all of my card images. So it takes it a couple of seconds to process this, but once this refreshes, it'll show that this has been completed and now I have my branded image on all of my cards. So if we drill back into my batch here, if we look at the card images, we can now see that I have my logo and my advertising for 50 cent combined shipping on all of my card images. Again, think of how much time that saves you and how professional of a look you get when you use tools like these. So at this point, I'm all set. I have all of the information in here that I wanted to list my cards for sale. I simply click on export batch and choose to export them to eBay, hit export, and in just a second, we get a confirmation that that process has been complete and the export is done. So my cards are now being moved over to eBay to be listed for sale. If we go over to my eBay account and let's navigate to my listings. I now have the five cards that we documented and sent over for sale. Now, many other cool features within Card Dealer Pro, including the ability to see the market information for a card's value, to be able to rapidly look up recent sales on eBay without having to type anything in or to see what other sellers have a card for listed for sale. So we give you tons of tools to speed up the ability to price your cards and know what to list them for if you weren't listing them in an auction format and say you wanted to do a buy it now. We give you all of that info. Um, same thing within the spreadsheet view. You can click on any card that you have within the batch to see the card on the right, to view, zoom in on the images, to see the value information, and to get those links on recent listings, active listings, etc. So many other things that Card Dealer Pro does, but this is just the very high level overview to show you how this could turbocharge your business to be able to list you know, hundreds, even thousands of cards within an hour. Um, we partner up with Fujitsu Auto Feed Scanners. With those, they can scan and document about 100 cards a minute. So 6,000 cards an hour if you continuously feed cards through those scanners. I mean, this is a game changer for you and your online card shop and how quickly you can get things listed. Now, again, a lot we could dive into in a lot of different ways that we can customize this to fit perfectly for your business and your card shop. We'd love the opportunity to give you a one-on-one -on -one demo and to show you all of the great features and how this could work for you, as well as answer any questions that you have. So please reach out to us. We're always happy to help. Um, click on the support link in the bottom right corner. Um, sign up for our free trial. And again, get in touch if you need any. This has been Fred with Cart Dealer Pro. Happy collecting.